Hi guys! Winter is a time of snow and ice, but at the same time, you know, you have your fireplaces and your hot chocolate and you have a good book on the sofa in the evenings while the wind is howling outside. And all that is a really nice time. So winter, for a lot of people, is their favorite season. But once Christmas has come and gone and February rolls around, we are all tired of being trussed up in eight layers to go outside. Help. And our heater's not working. So I thought today would be the perfect time to show you the three signs that spring is definitely on its way and we'll see the sun again. Sign one, flowers. Now if you live in western US, like California or Arizona, you should start to see some camellias and some nasturtiums coming up around this time. If you're in the eastern US, you should start to see things like lady slipper orchids or columbines or bleeding hearts. If you live in the UK, you'll start seeing the milkweeds or the daffodils. And all those will start to be coming up around this time. Now, in France, we get snowdrops, which we have some in the garden, some have already started to come up. The cherry trees will start blooming and we'll get the crocuses coming up in a few weeks. So all those flowers will be coming up around this time. Sign two. Now I know this isn't a popular thing, but it is one of the main signs of spring, so we really should get into it. But I'll make it brief. In the US, the ladybugs, the aphids, and the weevils will be coming out of hibernation. In the UK, we'll have some friendlier looking bugs coming out, such as bumblebees, pe peacock butterflies, and brimstone butterflies. While in France, you have the nastiest thing of all, hornets. In the, sp in the spring, they come down the chimneys to look for nests, but they end up coming straight into the house. So when they start coming into the house, you know it's spring. But they're nasty. Don't go anywhere near them. Sign three, birds. Now, now this time of year, birds will be coming back up from the south and they'll be migrating towards their breeding grounds in the north. So around this time in the western US, you will be seeing your hummingbirds and your orioles and your tree swallows as well as some vermilion flycatchers. And these, they'll, they'll be coming up and they'll be living in California and Arizona in those areas. So look forward to seeing those. Um, in the eastern US, you had your fox sparrows and your Batman's warblers. But if you live near the coast, you'll also be seeing some ring-billed gulls. In the UK, not many of the small songbirds are coming into England yet, but you do have the wheat ears. And you should start to be seeing some of those if you live there around this time, the earliest ones. But mainly it's the seabirds that are coming. And these include the gannets and the razorbills. Now in France, we don't get many birds, migratory birds, coming up this early. But we will be seeing some Eurasian golden orioles. Now these, I've only seen one once. But you hear them all the time, all through summer. And apparently they are starting to come up now. Also what we get are Eurasian cranes. Now these come all the way from Africa and they, and they fly up every s spring right over our house to go to Holland and to Germany and the northern places and then every fall they come, go right back down to Africa right over our house. So when they start coming up we know it's spring. Same with the hornets. There you have it. Those are the three signs that spring is on its way and that the sun and warmth will be here again at one point soon. If you've seen any of the things I've mentioned, please leave a comment. And also, if you think I've left one out, is there one that you find 
in your area that comes around this time of year that I've missed out, show me. I'm, I would love to see them. And that's all from me, guys. See you next week. Bye.